All right, gaming talk. Don't leave. <laughs> no. yeah, we don't have a whole lot of gaming talk tonight, but we do have a couple of them. Trust me, we got a lot and of them. this um, is an interesting one because it, it involves Elon Musk. At the very end. No offense to that park place. You're, you're, you're like, but I've been wanting to talk about this for a couple of weeks because, okay, so basically for a few years now, I have to worry about these wonderful Japanese RPGs they make in Japan coming over here to the States and getting butchered. Yeah. And dialogue and censoring outfits and the, and stuff like that, but they're not going to do that anymore. Now they just censor for everybody at the start, <laughs> whether you live in Japan or not. Um, let me get into this. Elon Musk shared his thoughts on Dragon Quest creator Yuji Horis accusing American regulators of forcing the removal of the option to choose between male and female characters in the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. It was reported at the beginning of this month that developer Square Enix was removing the option for players to choose between male and female characters and were instead labeling the character options as A and B. This was reported by Ryoku Tia 2089, who noted the game has no distinction between male and female heroes. Uh, Re Re Ryokuta also noted that the characters are labeled A and B, with the A version appearing like a male hero, while the B version is the female hero. Ryokuta even notes that the A version is voiced by male actor Hiyami Nobuyuki, while the B version is voiced by Minaguchi Yuko. Um, Yuko. Uh, on top of the main character having their sex removed from the character select, uh, Ryokuta also reported that the jobs all, will also no longer be distinguished by gender and name. Uh, these changes were confirmed in a preview for the game in the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. Uh, another user said the preview and latest issue of uh, Japanese magazine Weekly Shonen Jump confirms Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D is using Type A and Type B in place of male and female. Following with this confirmation, the game was added to the Sweet Baby Inc. detected Steam curator list as well as Cabrutus Rambo's DEI detected website. On top of the removal of the option to choose between male and female characters, Cabrutus cites that the game also censored the trolls in the game by removing their lips. He wrote a much more personal, nerdier level, and this one really pisses me off, I must say, is the censorship of the troll's lips. Um, it's kind of interesting, because now we have people in Japan noticing this stuff, and Cabrutus is from Brazil. So it's like, this is international at this point, this yeah. this fight against the Bocosos, I guess. Uh, not only has the game been added to Sweet Baby Inc. Detective, Steam Curator List, as well as DNA Detective, but numerous gamers have expressed the game on the Steam, Steam forums that they do not plan to purchase the game due to the changes Square Enix has made. Nick Rapp posted, no man, woman, DI censorship, you don't get my money. No man, woman, DI censorship, you don't get my money. Now, I, I want to say something. I want to interrupt this article. Over here in the West, um, North America, probably in Europe as well, they've already been doing this to the games coming in from Japan. It's just that now they're just doing it in Japan from the get-go. That's what the change is right here and other countries. Uh, the, the type A and the type B thing, that's been a thing now here, yep. which I don't even think is the worst bit of censorship I, it's annoying but i would live with that but the thing is they they keep finding other things to change and uh, one of the things i don't like is when you have these medieval rpg settings yep. and people are no longer using gendered language which frankly i think is still incorrect english today but it would certainly be incorrect english in a medieval setting yeah you're going to call someone a man or a woman or a lord and a lady that's going to be a thing you know well, and there was no concept of these things back then. No one would have wanted to be, you know, yeah, whatever. I I don't know. The reason why the exposure of the costumes in Drag Quest 3 needs to be reduced, as explained in the interview with Tokyo Game Show. As translated by Valiant News, Hori responded, yeah, there were various regulations in place, apparently not allowed to show too much skin. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, Hori was asked about the changes, because they changed the designs to the female warrior character. Who you know basically is just wearing a lot of body armor, but you know you, you see you see more right. of her legs and and arms and stuff. But the same yeah. goes if you get the male warrior. Then now with the female warrior, they've covered her up a, a more, and the male warrior they left alone, even though they're wearing similar outfits. Do you understand it's, that? Yeah, and that's really kind of flying in the face of their, um, you know, yeah. Um, if there's too much exposure, the age rating goes up. Me won't be able to sell as an all ages products. I really understand that either. Uh, 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 apparently it's not allowed to show too much skin, he added. When asked about complying with various country regulations, Torshimi chimed in, under the name of compliance, it's like an absolute god, an evil disguised as a good. There's not such thing as content that doesn't make everyone uncomfortable because beauty and ugliness, good and evil, are different for everyone. 
There are a few things that absolutely must not be done. As long as you follow those, you'll, you're will you free to do the rest he added. Next, he stated, there is, there is a religious concept from the West, especially in America, that influences their approach to sex education, right? Their approach to compliance is really narrow-minded. When selling manga in America, everything had to be categorized by age groups. We're shown in Jump Manga. They couldn't be sold unless they were rated ages 13 and up because the risks of lawsuits company also has to get insurance doing business with such a ridiculous country is really frustrating because of that japan gets negatively influenced so now he's saying he's basically saying now because of our peccadillos over here because yeah. i guess of the i, I want to say it's the modern woke puritanism we have now it's now influencing how other you countries know, have to make though, stuff. i mean if we're if we're going to be really intellectually honest about it though this you could be saying the same thing about you know uh censorship by the right over back in the 80s you know it doesn't really matter yes but the right never told the japanese that you have to censor the game for your market no but (laughs) even at the worst when we had the stuff being censored over here they weren't going into other countries and saying the american i see what you're saying says you have to censor it there this is this is this is beyond par this is this is i guess this is a globalist perspective that we all have to now have the same moral compass and we decide what that moral compass is the corporations uh he they see uh in dragon quest you used to be able to choose between a man and a woman for female character now you can choose between a man and a woman you can't choose between a man and a woman anymore we have to label them type a and type two yeah see they didn't have this over japan we've been getting that over here with these characters though yeah it's happened and you, you really have to research how these games are being localized I've not bought RPGs I was planning to because I heard of, because I'm sorry, if your game is dialogue heavy, it has to be well written. And if it's not well written, I'm not buying it. Uh, Elon Musk reacted to this writing an X saying, this is insane. That was Elon Musk's reaction. This is insane. <laughs> I, I'm going to say this about, about Elon. Like him or not, he is doing a great job of, of being intellectually honest about his stand on uh, um a free speech, right? He's got a right to free speech, especially on his own damn platform. So if you don't like what he's saying, well, <laughs> it's not your platform. It's his. It is not. Uh, that's a guru. Sad ass be okay. Let me see. You're talking about, yeah. I want to mention something too, though. The character that the character designs for the original game back in the 80s, Dragon Quest, because this is a remake, uh, a really nice, what I thought was gonna be a really nice looking remake. It was on my radar to purchase. But uh-huh. I said, wait till it comes out and see what they do to it. And unfortunately, it's it's a hatchet job. The guy that created Dragon Ball Z, you know how we saw so, yeah. mm-hmm. that months ago, he's he created the character designs for this game, and now they've messed them all up. So those character designs they're censoring, they were created by him, who they were much revering a few months ago, but now he's dead, so they can basically go to town and just change them however they want. So because basically this is like they're trying to do you're like taking a like a classic but trying to spruce it up a bit while keeping the original aesthetics that everybody liked right right but now that's all been ruined and i'm not gonna be picking this game up and square enix had better you know look take a hard look at ubisoft right now mm. uh because they're they may be heading in the same direction because this is they, a, yeah all of these already been hurting for money all of these companies really need to you know they need to take a look at what's going on in the marketplace because uh, uh, even the big companies, you know, the, the big entertainment industry, Disney and, and all the movie companies uh, are suffering because of the DEI. But companies like gaming companies that are on a razor thin margin to begin with cannot afford to coast. They don't have they don't have resorts and parks and. Uh, you know, all kinds of marketing that they can draw on, you know, to, to, to weather a storm. Well, what they had here is Dragon Quest. And I'm not splitting hairs here. In Japan, mm-hmm. Dragon Quest is, is very popular. I would rank it like up there with something like Star Wars. Okay. Sure. Dragon Quest used to be so popular that when a Dragon Quest game came out, the school system would just have to call, okay, we're just going to have off that day because the kids would, boys would be cutting class to pick the game up at the game store. Wow. That's how popular they wouldn't wait. So they're like, we just have to call off yeah. We'll find out when the Dragon Quest game is coming out. And that's how, that's how popular this series is over in Japan. I guess it still is, but now it looks like they really have taken a hatchet job to this remaster. And the sad thing is they're going to remaster the first two games too. Yeah. And it's probably going to be the same deal. 
And of course, in Japan, they're being taken aback by this because they they don't have this stuff over there. But now it's being imported into the stuff now that they consume. It used to be yeah. they would just censor the stuff we got from them. They'd censor it over here. Now it's now it's just happening everywhere. And I've heard rumor that I don't know if I don't know if this is a sweet baby involvement thing or if Square Enix now has their own internal department that does this. I'm very worried that if you have an internal like. Um, political correctness check system right yep if this department has to find new things and new games to check off to keep to you know basically say hey this is this uh this this so they can keep their jobs basically but that is literally for new things that to is censor. literally the point of dei it, yeah. they exist to perpetuate themselves not to do anything that's actually good for the company in fact and we've talked about this before so many companies are are now being sued because of their DEI policies that are actually breaking equal employment law. Uh, video game companies live or die by their next game. Um, yeah, and do uh, Hollywood directors live and die by how their previous movie did? We'll, we'll talk about that later. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, good point. No.